we have a we we had one question earlier online, which was about when it, not a comment really, as in it would have been really good to know about a lot of this early on. And I just wondered, starting with Haley, if we maybe could pass the microphone around and just get some input from people in the audience as to when, and if you want to talk, you don't have to, but when you would have wanted to get the information. So it'd be really interesting to hear from you. Haley, is that right? We start with you and go around. Go yeah, on. no, sure. Um, oh, it's a hard one because right at the beginning, but when you're first diagnosed, it's a lot of information to take in and everyone goes home and they Google what uveitis is. So I suppose right at the beginning, you need the basics. But then you just, like now, today is just amazing. You, you've got all these experts here that can absolutely help you. And I suppose it's probably after, when, for me, it was when he started coming out of the first flare. That's when I wanted to ask all the questions and get more information because I was actually more able to take more information. And at the time, he was doing hourly drops and stuff. I, you know, you're just trying to put out the fire, I suppose, for me. So it's probably after the first flare, I'd, I'd need more information. Maybe the chips are down. Which way can I not have? Um, probably as soon as possible for me. I like to know stuff. If I'm panicking, then I just want as much knowledge as I can possibly get. And it's better to be informed properly by professionals than find stuff on the internet. <laughs> I found a mortality rate for JIA when I first looked it up, so that wasn't ideal. <laughs> I was very overwhelmed when I first, um, you know, f first had the diagnosis. So for me, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have helped having so much more information, even to the point that I felt I wasn't taking all, all the information at the appointments because I, my head was, you know, I, I was in shock. So for me personally, um, we're coming up to a year after about, about ten months after the diagnosis. This is perfect for me. This is really I want to know as much as possible but it's only in the last few months that I felt ready to be in this position. Yeah I sort of I echoed in comments um, and I thought the YouTube videos were you know real helpful and I don't know we we sort of we didn't know what to ask. Um, for me Personally, I would like to get as more information as possible. And I think I did when Liliana got into Great Ormond Street Hospital for the first time. Uh, we got leaflet uh, explaining at least basics about uveitis. And I think if I didn't get it, the person I am, I would go to Google and read all the terrible things, <laughs> you know, like the worst scenario. So I think it's a good idea to give quite a good amount of information, yeah. Thank you. Um, I think I would agree. I think having um, quite a range of information to start with is useful and, and the YouTube videos, because it, it makes it just very clear without being too sort of technical and medical. So I think that would, that would be very useful. And actually just being able to, to be part of the unicorns has been really, this has just been an amazing day. I think all this sort of support um, in this kind of first year is really helpful. So, yeah, thank you. And I think generally the information we had from the consultants was pretty good and at the right time. So we felt like we, we did know enough at the right stage. I'd say probably access to do it fairly early on once it's diagnosed is best. Yeah, today's been fantastic and being able to learn so much. Um, I, I think, um, you know, this, this session has been, been, been brilliant. Um, so our son, is, he was four. Um, so we didn't, when he, when he was diagnosed, things before he was diagnosed, we didn't actually know what uveitis was. So we didn't know what to look out for um, because he, you know, he can't communicate that to us because he was, you know, was before school. Um, so I think going forward, what what would, what would be awesome would be to have um, for the, just for the general public to be aware, to, you know, to find out what uveitis, you know, what uveitis is, um, so people are aware of what to look out for. And I think uh, Lola very kindly pointed out to me that actually um, opticians' appointments, um, as you said, are, are are free and available for for younger kids. And 
I think a lot of people maybe not so aware of that, but that would have been um, something which I wish I knew <laughs> years ago. Obviously, my doctor was amazing. Oops. Obviously, my doctor was amazing. And um, I just wanted to say it's really good. And I think if information was given to you, like in a YouTube video, and you sat down with your doctor and you watched it, and then maybe if you had any questions, like they could answer it for you, and then it would be extremely clear and it could really help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I think the um, original question was about the information. And for me, I would have preferred to have a lot more information to start with, I think because it has been quite a difficult year and we weren't prepared for things and I wasn't prepared for the significant impact it would have on us as a family unit um, with regards to schooling and um, my work. Um, obviously, like a fundamental thing about the injections that people seem to overlook. And it's been really quite difficult, I feel, for Libby to get used to having an injection, which is quite a fundamental thing with regards to this medication. And to get support around that, I felt was really quite difficult. There was a time, and I'm sure if you don't mind me saying it, it was um, quite a few hours before we try and get to have the in injections because of the fear of it, the pain levels, the I'm anger, angry, I don't want to have this, it's not kind of fair scenario. So I think the kind of like these emotional support and the impact it have on the family just needs to be explored a little bit more with regards to the information. Thank you. 